Do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States? Hello, I'm Chris McGarry, and I'm a White House reporter for the Associated Press, and I write about Vice President Kamala Harris. Uh, she made history as the first woman and first person of color to serve as vice president, and now she's made history again for tying the record for the most tie-breaking votes in the Senate. Uh, that record was previously held by John C. Calhoun, who had that job in the early 1800s. Uh, he had 31 tie-breaking votes over eight years as vice president. And Harris has hit that same number in a little over two years as vice president. It's a reflection of how evenly divided the Senate is while she's been serving in office and a reflection of our deeply partisan politics. Of the 49 vice presidents, 12 of them never got to cast a single tie-breaking vote, including Joe Biden. There's another sort of irony in this whole situation is that when John Adams and John Calhoun were vice president, presiding over the Senate was really the vice president's job. That's what they did. That's what they spent full time on. John Adams's wife, Abigail, complained that John thinks he has to be at the Senate all of the time and he never leaves the presiding chair. Well, beginning with Richard Nixon's vice presidency, the vice president moves to the executive branch and beginning with Walter Mondale becomes really moves into the White House, into the West Wing and becomes part of the presidency. Harris's role as a tiebreaker has really been a defining feature of her vice presidency. It can uh, dominate her schedule. Uh, it can be hard to plan things when you have to rush over to Capitol Hill to cast votes, uh, even at a moment's notice. Sometimes it's difficult to plan for these things. But it's also made her a key player uh, in the first two years of uh, Joe Biden's presidency. Uh, she's cast deciding votes on many nominations and on key pieces of legislation like the Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, none of these things would have moved forward without her uh, being there to cast that vote.